Hi everyone, today we have ABS fault, the pump is faulty, so we're gonna remove and check it in. Start with removing this shield and then you're gonna locate the ABS pump or ABS module. You can even remove the engine and cover, so gives you a piece of space. I mean, not like this, but yeah. <laughs> We have it. So we have extra space. This is broken. Went in power on this car. So check it somewhere else. Is that? Oh yeah, there and under. Here under is one more, which holds. They're just twisting out and you can push them in and everything back. Type, but it goes out in here. You can see now in there that's what you need to do. It's not very easy, but it goes okay. There is bolts underneath for brackets, the whole bracket goes out with the pump. First, you remove the plug, then the pipes, and then or loosen everything on the bottom so less mess around. Cable tie and put this through this hole on here. So that way it will keep you this shield away all the time. So now it's 10 millimeter spanner on the bottom. So there is a couple of three, three screws like this one three of them underneath and then the plug comes here it's now here just on the sides so now it comes there now you get the cloth the rod the rest just fit in there all the way around before you remove the rag lines just you want to cover that nicely there so, and prepare yourself with some of those plugs. This hole on the other side that you can use the ones for the calipers, for nipples on the calipers. Of course, it is spanner. So it's more easy, but it was an angle of. Okay, this one was easy. Easy enough. So. How the ABS module should come out. Just, as you can see, a little bit tight. It's a little bit tight spot. Put it 
there. So you can cover in once both sides. Just like that. This is not very sticky there. It's not sticking great, but it is holding. It's holding well, see. You can cover plug so electrical plug. Okay. Main thing is this, you don't want dirt in the brakes. So now you grab pliers. Right here, and you want to squeeze. See, squeeze, squeeze that. You do four of them, and then the rest you need to do it under. You need the bit like this one or bigger. To grind it off or with grinder, but this one will work. Make sure your tape is still in place. So, <laughs> blow it. Now you need screwdriver from the side. So, we are using our screwdriver on the side. I'm trying to pop the motor off. We need a little bit hammer. It doesn't need much, just a bit on the corners because of the <coughs> glow. You can't really do that one easy. But if you hold it in place, put something on top, hold it like that, screwdriver here. Perfect. See now? So now it's going off. Swipe a bit your all what you did around. Clean. Bigger screwdriver. Still smaller on this side. Perfect. So that's all what it is. This is electric motor. Contacts for motor. Just get small drill bit, maybe two, two and a half for start. Start drilling here. So when you drill it fully, now you will need to press it there, or it might be that when you drill it, you move at the thing which hooks. I think if you put something on the shaft, you get pliers. Just so you hold the shot. Here we go. So once see there. Because of magnets it wants to go back. So that's it. Here is drill it. These bits are holding but mostly on the cross, yeah. Here we have the one which was removed from here. And I thought you could fix brushes, the bracket, only what you need is just spread it a little bit on the plastic which comes there, this goes in this way. So, but fortunately on this one, uh, there is, 
yeah you can see the wiring is a bit damaged there but just clean a little bit all surface and you are ready to fit this on just double check everything is clean everything is tidy that's it it slides very nice and easy Double check. Perfect. This is now ready to be fitted. In case you manage to fix when you are putting back this goes this goes in. And you're putting this one back. So like this. Get it back and you'll use chisel or something on the press. You want to squeeze the aluminium back want to squeeze it back as original so it's holding the motor some guys I saw they make some bracket and thread here but this is easiest way just put like chisel or something press in, in the press and you get it holding here is ready to be fitted in there so just clean a little bit before We are now in there. We have three of those to fit. Now it's ready to be tested, you can give ignition now when you have all connected and check is everything ok and after that you need to bleed all, all brakes. So before you start doing anything, just check your oil level, your brake fluid level. This one's a bit tight, ok. Get proper brake fluid, proper tank. And top up nicely, more uh, kind of at maximum or a bit more because you will actually bleed brakes so you will lose fluid. Okay, now it's okay. Put cup back, but don't tighten. Just unfill threads. That way, no oil gonna jump out of your 
tank and as well if you tighten fully it's gonna be harder for oil to go out this, this is what you can use that goes on nipple there is one way valve inside so you can do alone one man one man job you can do it so you can turn the wheel You find the nipple. So here. That's all that you need to do. Put the pipe on, put the security on, and that should work now. Put flowers back on nipples. Do the same on all the other wheels. Mm -hmm. 